Hello, you're listening to Done. I'm David Stjernholm and this is the weekly podcast about how good structure at work makes our work life easier. Every year I work 37 weeks and I take 15 weeks off. I work four days a week and I'm always free on Fridays. I have managed to design my weeks and days in this way thanks to a template calendar that I have used for years. In a short video on the Structure blog right now, I share how this calendar tool works and what mine looks like. If you want to take control of how your weeks and days turn out, you will find this short video on stjernholm.com slash blog. And now for today's episode that is about how to get some clarity on your computer desktop. Some of us save documents on the computer desktop. It may feel like a good idea because then we can access them easily. We then sort of know where they are all the time. However, those who apply this method see all the documents they have there simultaneously, even though they actually only need to access one or a few of them at a time. If we constantly see things we do not need at the moment, it might distract us from what we really need to find and work with right now. We see a document and come to think of something related to that file. It may even strike you that you should have done something with that document already. And you feel bad about not having done what you were supposed to. After a while, it gets a bit messy on the desktop. So some people create a folder where they put all the documents pending just for now. So that the desktop becomes empty. Except for this one folder once again. It feels good. They name the folder the old desktop. Time passes and they think to themselves that soon they will take care of the old folder. Soon. After a while, they avoid opening the folder because they suspect it of being filled with a bad conscience, things they should already have taken care of. The folder hovers over them and drains energy, power and focus unnecessarily. They are tempted to create yet another old desktop folder to put everything in, to clean up again. But what to name the old folder then? The old, old desktop. It might be tempting, but don't do this. If you can identify with this little testimony from daily life, and if you at present moment have an old desktop folder, get rid of it this week, in one of the following ways. Go through the whole folder in one go and trash or move the documents to their proper places. Or... Allocate 15 minutes every day to sorting through it until the folder is empty. Or take 10 documents a day until you can delete the whole folder. Because if you get rid of the old desktop folder, you now have one less problem hovering above you all the time. Would you not agree that getting rid of such a nuisance is worth a little effort? How do you keep your computer desktop empty and free from distractions? Do you have any special strategy or smart solution? Or do you have a clever way to organize the documents on your desktop so that you don't get distracted? Write to me at david at and tell me, because this is a situation many people are in against their will. I'm curious about how you do it, and I am always listening. Thanks for joining me today, and see you again next week. 